Here's a 2018 uh, Polaris Ranger 1000 XP. I'm going to be showing you how to install some cab accessories, in particular the roof, the windshield, the back panel, and a set of doors. Here I'm going to be showing you how to put uh, this lock and ride windshield onto that 2018 Ranger 1000 XP. Uh, very simple, honestly. A lot of people are probably wondering why I'm even making a video, but there's a couple small things that I can show you I think that'll make the installation a little easier. First step, take the box apart, pull the windshield out of the foam, and make sure all the mount mounting levers are in the vertical position. Uh, if you got two people, lift the windshield into place and just set it inside the cab frame as shown. Here we have the windshield sitting in the cab frame. Uh, it kind of slides underneath the roof if you have the roof installed and then it ends up sitting kind of on these little risers. There's one on each side and then one in the middle right there. I just noticed this windshield actually has a defect in the lamination uh, so I'm probably going to end up getting a new windshield from Polaris. But uh, it doesn't affect this installation video so I'm going to continue on. At this point what you're going to want to do is this isn't necessary and Polaris doesn't even say anything about this but I figure or I, I find that it allows the windshield to get installed easier more securely better fit there's a little nut in there uh, it's a half inch so I'll just take a ratchet with a half inch socket and just loosen that nut up maybe a quarter turn doesn't take much uh, just do that to all of them uh, the levers will noticeably get looser and uh, we will tighten them once we uh, loosen all the levers. Once you get them all loose, kind of you know shimmy the windshield up and down a little bit so it feels like it falls into place. Turn the levers over, and they should spin fairly easy. See, it can kind of move the windshield. It'll kind of fall into place once it's in the right position. Yeah, that one's still pretty tight. So the reason I move these is you actually have the potential of damaging something if you don't. I've had some of these windshields so tight from the factory that if I were to turn that 90 degrees without loosening that nut, it would either crack the windshield or it would pull uh, the adhesive away from the windshield, which is this bar is holding everything together. These metal bars are actually glued to the glass and hold everything together, and I've seen those delaminate. Um, Basically, by loosening them, we're able to get the windshield centered, get it installed correctly, and then going back after the fact and, you know, tightening those up that, you know, quarter turn or so that we loosened them. Typically, you just get a lot better fit. The windshield's not going to be shaking around. And once you get those four uh, into position and tightened down, the windshield's usually good to go. Uh, you can see here we're on this riser perfectly. Uh, pretty good right there. And then this one I actually think that that windshield could slide up a little bit. So I'm going to actually loosen it again. Slide it up. There. Uh, see that was actually hanging up on that riser. Now that I slid it up I could, I could feel that the thing tightened a lot easier. But at this point the windshield is installed. Uh, we can take and Tighten down the nuts, and it's good to go. You will notice that that kind of has that trapezoidal cutout on top. This particular windshield will accept a windshield wiper, and I will show that in another video. Uh, feel free to hop onto my channel to find that video. Thanks for watching.